Hello, today is May 30th, 2016. I'm meeting today with Miss Eleanor Berkey at her son's home in Fort Collins, Colorado. My name is Brad Hoops. I'm the interviewer for the Northern Colorado Veterans History Project. Welcome, Eleanor, and thanks for sitting down today to tell your story. Well, thank you for having me. Um, it's uh, quite the pleasure. Let's start out, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, your date of birth, where you were born, a little bit about your family. Okay. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri at uh, uh, 120 Pat. Oh, not, not to worry about that. Oh, yeah, Pat yeah. Field. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, my father was a railroad man, and uh, my mother uh, uh, was a... Um, she worked for this gentleman who made the uh, restaurants at the uh, railroad terminals where people stopped and got off and got on and that. Mm -hmm. And she was, a, a, uh, they had a name, uh, Kel uh, Kelly Girls, I think, and they wore uniforms. It was like a going away to another uh, a com a com a com country because my mother was uh, born in St. Louis, Missouri, and my father's from Texas. And so the, uh, they met in the, uh, lunch, one of the lunch Oh, rooms. is that right? Yeah. And, and I, while we're at it, what, what's your maiden name? Uh, uh, Ber uh, Burns. Burns? Burns. And my mother's uh, ba uh, main name was uh, uh, English. Uh, her father was from England. Uh, and uh, her mother... Uh, uh, came over. She and her four sisters were from Ireland. Oh wow! Their father, uh, their mother died, and their father remarried, and they didn't like it. And these five girls got on the ship and came to America. Wow! And they somehow or another uh, went from this when they where they landed to St. Louis, and whether they had people that they knew I'd forgotten, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Right, sure, yeah. And one of the girls was a nun, and the, but the five of them went to St. Louis, mm. and she was then with the nunnery, and, and uh, uh, as I say, uh, uh, her, uh, my, my grandmother uh, uh, met a, a, a man there in St. Louis who was from England. And so they, they get, were married. Okay. And that's that part of the family, pretty much. Okay. And, oh, well, they, my mother and father had nine children. Your mother and father did? And where were you in that order? Middle. Oh, right in the night Right night. in the middle. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, the only uh, ones left uh, uh, is myself and my youngest. Uh, uh, she was the youngest. Okay. And, uh, uh, she's a girl, and she lives in St. Louis. Okay. Uh, she uh, and she married a, a, a man there who's very uh, nice, and and they had uh, three boys, and they're still there. The the last nobody else lives in hmm. of our family. Right. Yeah. I, one question I always like to ask your generation: uh, Do you have much memory of it? And and if so, uh, was your family much affected by the Great Depression? Well, for one reason, we were very lucky. My father was a, 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 a what they what do you call the ones uh, the one who's in charge where the chair, trains come in, and he uh, was a top man with that. Okay. And they uh, we did we d uh, did have uh, enough money for all all of us. So we didn't start or anything, but we weren't rich. Yeah, right, right, you know? right. And uh, right. we uh, lived. Uh, uh, Probably uh, uh, like middle class, okay. that kind of thing, or even lower. Yeah. And because uh, we didn't go to anything like uh, schools that we had to pay for. Right, right. Yeah, and we were Catholic, of course. I, I don't know, but <laughs> from some, from uh, uh, Ireland, mm -hmm. of course, you mm -hmm. always would think you'd mm -hmm. be Catholic. My father was not, of course. He's yeah. he was a. Uh, just an ordinary American from Texas, mm -hmm. and uh, his family uh, had the f farms and things like that, big families mm -hmm. from all my 
ancestors. It's in my children's ancestors. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, we lived in North St. Louis most of uh, the time I was, we were there. And it's a kind of a, a, a low medium, I would say. Okay. I think uh -huh. you would. Mm -hmm. and, but my father had a very good job. Yeah. And oh, good. so we, uh, uh, but we didn't have money, you know, that kind of thing. But we did travel a lot on the trains. Oh, you we had the could passes? Go. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we'd go down to Texas and Oklahoma. We had the autism, that kind of thing. So you uh, went through the school system in St. Louis and graduated. Yes. Uh, what yeah. year did you graduate high school? I went to uh, Beaumont High in mm -hmm. St. Louis. Uh, we lived north St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And it uh, and we uh, walked to school uh, at grammar school, but we uh, it, the high school was a little farther away. So we, uh, but we walked sometimes if we missed the bus, because uh, my mother did not drive. We did have a car, but she didn't drive, mm. and so, and of course, my father was at work, work so, yeah. Uh, yeah. so that. But uh, then we went. It was Walbridge uh, uh, first school, and then Beaumont was the high school, and then uh, I uh, did, uh, wanted to be a nurse. I, I really did. Oh, really? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I graduated from. Uh, I, uh, high, high school, I, uh, uh, the uh, Jewish hospital had the nursing school, so we, I went there. What, what year did you graduate from high school? Oh, gosh. Was it before? 1942? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, let me back up and ask then uh, the question. The war broke out uh, that previous December. Do you remember where you were? When you heard about Pearl Harbor being bombed? Oh no, no, that was uh, that wasn't that yet. You know, uh, I uh, I uh, that was after, of course, high school, uh, and I was in. Uh, well, if you graduated in '42, uh, the war started in '41. Nurse, nursing, nursing school. Oh, nursing school. Oh, oh, oh no. yeah. Oh, 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 oh I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh. sorry. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, I thought. Yeah, oh, I, I, I saw the, the picture of uh, 1942. And, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. No, no, oh, okay. No. Yeah, I've forgotten the year I graduated, I graduated from regular school to high school. Yeah, okay. And then high school, I graduated, and that's then I went, uh, to, I wanted, as I said, to be a nurse, and so I wanted to go. Uh, Barnes is the. Best is the hosp big hospital in St. Louis, and uh, the, uh, but they didn't have a nursing school, and the uh, uh, what uh, the uh, the Jewish hospital the, the Jewish hospital was right next door to Barnes. Oh, okay. And see, so that was just the thing you would do if you were going. So I went over there, and uh, and I was uh, went I, I got first on the. Uh, Ward uh, where the uh, uh, wealthy people ha uh, came in a lot, and uh, their their uh, 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 children and all that. And, uh, children's, I was a children's sex. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. So that's where I was, but uh, I was just me. None of my uh, friends went, hmm. and I I just couldn't take it. Is that right? Yeah, I, I, all by myself. Yeah, and, sure. Yeah. yeah. So I I just was there for. A few months, and then I went back to uh, the uh, to the where I had graduated from, and uh, I uh, was nursing there. We did went to every part of the hospital there, not just one mm -hmm. section. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the that the war started that that okay. time. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, the uh, and we had just graduated, and all and all, most of the us there then were still there at the uh, Jewish hospital. So uh, a, a bunch of us decided we'd go join the uh, uh, army. Oh, really? Yes. What, what, what prompted you to, to decide to do that? What, well, uh, uh, you know, they were calling for people to come and all that stuff, and we decided, wonderful, we'll, we'll go. And I think it was about maybe 10 of us. 
Oh, really? And oh, wow. there's a big uh, um, uh, uh, base there in St. Louis. Uh, Jefferson, Jefferson Field, uh -huh. I uh -huh. think you can find it. Jefferson Barracks? Uh -huh. it, it's a big, big mm -hmm. uh, And uh, the, uh, the, that's where we were when, when we joined the, the Army. And that's where you did, I guess, your basic training? Did you do your basic training there? A, a little bit, not okay. much. Okay. Because of our, uh, the war was really... Uh, and they just wanted to get you going and... They did. Yeah. And this whole hospital uh, from New York came to St. Louis. They, uh, most, they were all doctors and, and, and mostly everybody else, but they needed nurses. And they took a whole bunch of us. And, and so we went and uh, we were flown up to ADAC. Uh, uh, we went first to, uh, what's the big Anchorage. town in uh, the, uh, Anchorage. see my memory. No, to Anchorage. Anchorage, Anchorage. So we were flown, uh, flown up to Anchorage. Wow. And then we, they were, we were all gathered and, and then they flew us out to ADAC, which oh. is where the hospital was going to be at first, and at first they had them in, we were in those uh, uh, buildings that people lived in. Uh, I forgot what they called uh, Quonset Hut? Yeah, Quonset Hut. So everything was in Quonset Huts. And uh, the hospital was in a, a wooden building. And uh, we girls were in Quonset Hut. And they were really wonderful. They started immediately making a, a hospital, building a hospital. And a, a nurses building, and see right along it with the war, they were doing that to take care of everybody right. coming to take care of the people. Right, right, right. right. Well, so, how how was that for you to go that transition to go from military or civilian life into military life? Was it much of a transition for you? Uh, well, quite a bit, but I loved. Did it. you? Yeah. I loved the whole time I was in there. The only thing that I was upset about was when we were uh, uh, told where we would be and all. Ah, oh, right. My very best friend was sent to the very end of the, uh, uh, the Aleutians? country up there. Uh, what that's called? The Aleutian Islands? Aleutian Islands. The last uh, wow, island geez. she was sent to, and I met Adak. And uh, we nearly died. <laughs> but uh, then that we got over that, right? Uh, and. Uh, well, we nurses, we just really loved it. I uh, had the officers uh, uh, Quonset, and uh, and then my uh, uh, the soldiers who were the uh, uh, gosh, I can't. Uh, I know what I want to say, but I can't. Uh, like the assistants, anyway, the uh... they were the. Uh, I was in charge, and they did the work and took care of it. Wonderful. So you were an, uh, uh, enlisted as an officer then? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. First, first uh, lieutenant. lieutenant. And uh, yeah, and but those uh, boys, just boys, yeah. you know, yeah. and young, uh, young men, of course. Right. And wonderful. They uh, were so good to me. I didn't have a problem with any of them, and and they did the work. What I would have done yeah. if there were, we didn't have. So like a, like a corpsman or an orderly or something. Corpsman, that's corpsman. what yeah. they were called. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So and they, uh, many of the ones that were in my ward were from uh, 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 the farthest uh, Saint. Uh, what's the uh, stayed on uh, the uh, end. Uh, my son is there, and I can't think of it. Uh, Florida? No, a uh, north. Maine? Uh, uh, below Maine. Uh, New York. New York. New York. So, sorry, I didn't think of it. But anyway, uh, they were mostly from New York. Oh, that's what you say, because that hospital had moved, completely moved. But So when you started out, you said that about 10 of you uh, enlisted together. Did you guys all stay together and go to Alaska, or did... did uh, uh, no, we do. We kind of went uh, all uh, places up north. Oh, okay. I guess from St. Louis, they just uh, thought we uh, 
that was what, but, uh, but there were quite a, 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 I'd say maybe five of us out in the, and the others were sp uh, sp uh, uh, on the other islands up there. We were all on all the islands. We didn't oh, okay. go anywhere else. Oh, okay. And you were, I, I suppose they were like smaller outposts and they would feed uh, uh, patients each, to your big hospital? Or? Well, each. Uh, or they each have their own hospital? Uh, no, oh. no, no. But uh, the islands, there are now about f how many islands up there? Yeah, there's so quite a few of them, yeah. About, about five, yeah. I think, up there. And the uh, uh, Japanese were, had been on the one island. Right. And, uh, so they were gone by the time. No, now they were, yeah. but they shortly left because okay. they got, uh, uh, they just got taken over by right, our right. troops and everything. Now, did, did you take care of casualties from the fighting up there? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't have any Japanese. Yeah, right, right, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, right, right, right. Because they were on uh, Sitka. Right. Mm -hmm. And they we hadn't been on Ada, mm -hmm. but Sitka's for the tour. Their country, Japan, uh, yeah. Uh, ADAC. Yeah. And right. our, I guess, uh, ADAC was just kind of the, uh, where everything started from. Okay, yeah. Uh, where uh, the, the staging all area. The people came in and, yes, yeah, staging yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Talk, talk a little bit about uh, your living conditions up there. I mean, I, I think it, here's this Midwest St. Louis girl up in Alaska. What, what was that like? Uh, and what was what were your like your living conditions like the food what did you guys do for entertainment when you weren't on duty just talk about daily life up there if you oh mind. okay well when we got up there of course they had all these Quonset huts mm -hmm. which are those uh, uh, buildings that uh, are almost like a, a steel metal yeah, uh, right. round house that's where we were first the hospital was in a, a combination of them but the nurses we would say two or three to one uh, uh, thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was our home while they were building their our, uh, hospital and our uh, oh. living arrangements. And they built us a lovely, lovely nurses home. Is that right? They, really lovely. And, and uh, we all did like that because it was very nice. And they were building the hospital, and they built the hospital, and it was a very good hospital, you know. And uh, the doctors were good, they were all good. Mm. And uh, we uh, seemed to do very well. Of course, we had casualties, you always sure. do, yeah. Yeah. and uh, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and it was kind of like a little town, because uh, they had uh, put up quonsidots for uh, like a, a, a little restaurant or things like that, and oh, and the, and the troops all uh, were so uh, they had their each troop had uh, their uh, portion, and they all uh, uh, each uh, different uh, uh, company had their own uh, things, and then uh, as we. Uh, uh, were there, uh, everybody started uh, trying to uh, be f friendly and do things like you do when you go to somebody. And so we had lots and lots of uh, rec uh, recreation dances. You okay. Know, uh -huh. You'd go dancing every night if you could, but you, <laughs> you had to work. <laughs> but we're, and we were treated very well. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a, a bad things happen to some of the people had to be sent back home because they weren't behaving and uh, uh, all. But the, the the troops were really good, and when they'd have a party, they every all, all the nurses were invited to, and all all kinds of things. So, and, and, and how was like uh, the food? Um, the food we uh, as I remember, I don't. Uh, it didn't stick out one way or the other. Really. No, yeah, uh -uh. yeah. Uh -uh. And 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 w when you're in the Quonset huts, and then eventually in, in better quarters, you were warm enough. You kept uh, oh. kept, yeah. Oh yeah. And, and what was the the weather like up there? I I, I envision cold. It was dark cold, but not. Uh, 
Uh, you dressed for it. Oh, okay. We wore those park, what they called the parkas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we were fully. They're really warm and and fully clothed. Mm -hmm. you, you know that kind of them. As we went out, and uh, they uh, all, uh, if we had to go to another ward, uh, there were all kinds of uh, what do you call those uh, uh, um, things that the army uses to drive around in on the base. No jeeps or uh, uh, yeah. yeah, and uh, they if like say I had to go from my uh, uh, ward to the main war or, or where they were, uh, uh, where the surgery was and all they had, the, there was always a, a, a... Someone to drive you over there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so you didn't have to get out. And you could, uh, if you wanted to, of course, yeah, right. go out and walk, get right. in the snow and do all of that. And of course we did all that, you know, 20-year-olds uh, uh, through 30. Do all those, this, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we did that kind of a life, just as though we were really at home. Uh, in fact, even more so. And uh, and then we had no problems uh, with dating. See, there were so many uh, men and boys, and, and uh, we didn't have to, uh, nobody got uh, uh, fighting or, that I know of. <laughs> fighting over a, a one, but we did have problems uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, the, some of the people got uh, carried away, and and they would ship them home. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. If the, a girl had gotten pregnant, mm. she was sent home. Yeah, yeah. So. How was it? Uh, another thing I was thinking about Alaska is that the seasons, the the, the dark winters and the, and the twenty four hour sunlight in the summer. Was that hard to adjust to? Actually, no. As as, as you. You probably think I'm crazy, but I, I, I loved every part of that. Really? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, but we did. We had the dark nights and all, but we didn't have to worry. We, uh, there was always somebody there to uh, pick us up, or, uh, uh, or if we needed them, they, we had plenty of uh, uh, that we could call anybody with and that kind of thing. But uh, the question was, I mean, just was it hard to adjust to like in the summertime when it was. Basically, sunlight twenty-four hours a day, and no, in the winter uh, we didn't really have it. Oh, you did up there. Oh, okay. Like oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. It, it didn't get like it does down south. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but in the winter, it's really you just dress for it. Yeah, and, right. And and I'm sure there were people who didn't like it, and in fact, the boys hated it, of course, because they were fighting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They were. Uh, and the Japanese, of course, had left uh, by the t by that time. They were just on that one island. Mm -hmm. uh, ha ha I don't know how long they had been on that one island, but they had pulled out when the, they we were started coming up there. And, and once they were pulled out, uh, were you still getting casualties from somewhere else, or was it mostly just people that got injured or sick? Uh, that were stationed up there. What was right. your, your yeah. patients mostly? Yeah, that? because there, there was no more fighting. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, yeah, but there was lots of other things. Right, like right. The, uh, so that, uh, you know, uh, when, gun, when you're handling guns and mm -hmm. things like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. how, how long were you up there all together, roughly? Uh, I think I was there about three years. Three years? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it, it, it was just fantastic. Huh. <laughs> Did you ever get pulled off to come back for R and R to Anchorage or someplace? Or we well, that's how I happened to stay home. Uh, I was on leave at home when the war ended, ah. so, and they didn't send us back. Ah, okay. So, okay. That's, and that's when I was then, and I went to California, and I was at the big hospital in California and uh, then uh, uh, I had met my husband before this up in the, uh, so the, that's where you guys met was up in Alaska yeah and he was obviously serving as well uh, he was a pilot oh wow okay and, uh, 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 he uh, flew the b-17 oh wow yeah, so and uh, he was so he had come in he had, had <laughs> he had had a bad cold and uh, he needed to have some care so <laughs> Yeah, he. I met him there because it was my ward. 
Uh-huh. And then uh, when uh, I had gone home on leave then early and the war was going over, it was all yeah. uh, not entirely stopped, but they, they did were allowing us to take turns to go home. Uh, and it was my turn and I was there then when the war ended. I was still at home. Mm-hmm. So they don't send anybody right. back right. then. Well, um, and so my husband was still up there flying, and uh, uh, he uh, came down and uh, to visit me too, as he because I couldn't come back, and uh, so then that's when we decided we'd get married. Well, uh, I, I got to thank up in Alaska, uh, as one of probably very few women, you had your pick of the lot. How did how did you how did you how did you decide on your husband? How did that, how that all come together? I I don't know. He as I say he was a patient. Yeah. He came and yeah. like that and and uh, uh, so I got to know him and and while I was before I went on leave, uh, we were out dancing with you know, all all the parties and everything like that, and then uh, uh, I guess he missed me. So when he could, <laughs> he came to visit. And he's from uh, 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 Illinois. It's was where he lived, and uh, so he came, uh, and we uh, he was there a couple of weeks, and we decided to get married. Wow! Wow! Uh, so uh, then uh, uh, we decided uh, we do it up there. So he. Uh, 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 made the arrangements all up there and uh, up there in Illinois. Yeah, uh, no, in Alaska. Oh, you got married up in Alaska. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. yeah right. <laughs> because uh, uh, he was. Ha- he oh, he was still stationed up there. Yeah, and he okay. couldn't uh, come home. But uh, we, and this uh, uh, general to whom we knew uh, was in charge in uh, uh, Alaska. Uh, that big town in Alaska. Anchorage. Anchorage? Anchorage. He was the chief person there, and he, we knew him well. And he says, okay, you're going to have your wedding in my ha- a house. So I f- flew up there, and we had the wedding there. Wow. Now, by this time, had you been discharged, or were you still? No, no, I hadn't been discharged. Oh. But as soon as I was married, I was. They didn't keep us. Yeah, is that right? No. Wow. And the minute anybody got married, uh, women, we were we were done. Hmm. I do was you, very mad. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Do you, do you think if uh, if it wasn't for that rule, or if you hadn't met your ma- husband, do you think you would have stayed in and made it a career? Or I, I probably would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Boy, sign of the times back then. It really is to do. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. But it, uh, and as I say, it's a terrible to say that. I was happy, and it was a terrible war. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Kind of thing. Well, let's take your story on then. So uh, you get up to uh, uh, Anchorage, you guys get married. Take your story from there then. What? Uh, well, we had a, a very nice wedding. A, a, a general uh, uh, had taken care of everything, and, and we had all that there. And then I had to go back home. and. Claude had to stay because he was still on duty, and mm. uh, and uh, so then they at the at, with the fa- uh, war over, they decided people could come up there. Oh, so okay. then uh, my husband uh, put in the uh, thing uh, asking, and mm-hmm. and so yeah, the, then they I had already gone back, and mm-hmm. I was in nursing in war in California, and uh, so. Uh, uh, they flew me up to Anchorage, and we were married there in Anchorage. Mm-hmm. And then I got to go out to Adak and stay until he was sent back. So uh, that's what, that was a story of, of that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm I'm assuming that neither one of your families were able to get up for the wedding. Uh, no, no. We yeah. were at the no. Uh, my ma- uh, mom and. Uh, she wouldn't have been able to make that. Uh, she, uh, she, my mother uh, died when she was 93. Wow. See, I'm beating her a little bit. <laughs> so uh, she, it wouldn't have been. And my father, I think, was already gone. Mm. I can't really remember for mm. sure. But mm. uh, 
too bad. Oh, 70s. Mm-hmm. He was still alive in the 70s. He, I didn't hear that. He, 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 uh, Pat said you, he was still alive in the 70s. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 So, yes, he was still there then. Yeah. But uh, he, uh, he was, well, I don't remember if he was still working. Yeah. Well, that would have been a long train ride if you took the train pass to get up there. Right. <laughs> well, we, we could always have done it because my other brother became uh, just what his father had been. And he was still there. He was the t the one in the, in the t t t t uh, railroads. He was head of the, that part wow. of the, wow. just like his dad. Right, right. So, so you join your husband up uh, in Alaska, and then, and then uh, he got transferred, or did he get discharged, or how did you guys no, get back to the states? No, then? he gets. Uh, they send all the troops back, uh -huh. most of them, uh -huh. and they just did send them all back, and he. Uh, where did he go to first? I can't remember where we went first. California? California. California. The so talking, uh, we should add, talking off camera before we started this, he elected to stay in and make it his career. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, okay, so yes. so now you're a military wife. Yeah, he could yeah. have got out right, out right away. Right. Uh, but he, he had always wanted to fly, and he was never going to leave flying, so. Okay. So went down to California and uh, well we were there at that big uh, base uh, for s three years at least and uh, my two oldest children uh, I went back we were stationed there we had a house there and uh, uh, I can still see it uh, hmm. I decided that I my first child I had to go back to St. Louis to have the doctor there that was the one who did it who was a, I knew well and I uh, knew he was great so and uh, he took over and he uh, delivered my oldest son hmm. <laughs> wow. wow so uh, and my hu husband's uh, family lived in Illinois not far from St. Louis so we had gone up there when I was going about time to have the baby and so then we just drove, we were staying there with them, and we drove down to the hospital in St. Louis, where my, a, a, a Jewish, mm -hmm. Jewish hospital. <laughs> wow. And he uh, uh, brought out uh, my son. So we were, and uh, then we were living, as we said, in that uh, uh, other t uh, state. And we so when we were able, when I was able to tell, we went back home. To, to I never. California. I, I'm having a terrible time with memory. That's fine. They, yeah. they went from uh, California down to Roswell, New Mexico. So then, from California, you were transferred down to New Mexico. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, no. Uh, Pat, that was before. A uh, long time after. Uh, but that we did. Uh, we did go out of, uh, uh, and I, I can't really remember exactly, but we've been to, uh, 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 what was it? Uh, Roswell. Roswell, New Mexico. We were there uh, for four years, three or four years. And then my daughter was born there. When we were having the problem with the, uh, uh, People coming from outer space. Uh huh. The that, UFOs. Remember that? Uh huh. Uh -huh. That's what's going on there. Oh really? Oh boy. And my whenever uh, my daughter tells anybody where she was born, she said my father was an uh, uh, from was from what she said. Oh right. Martian. <laughs> from yeah, outer Martian. space. <laughs> my father was a Martian. <laughs> and really, and and uh, people just laugh and all that. We and. It, it was so interesting because the military was so involved yeah. and they had to keep quiet and we didn't really get to hear much. Oh, I was going to ask you, there was, was all the controversy, did you have any inside, uh, no, insights to what really not, happened down there? They're not allowed uh, to uh, really talk about it much. But afterwards, and nowadays, when you think yeah. back at it, we could 
say everything and all of that, but not then. No. Uh, we wow. always speculated that my dad knew a lot more about it than he ever did. Really? Yeah. Wow. So, oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. but interesting things, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then from uh, where where was your next assignment after Roswell? Let's see. Oh, um, um, Omaha. Omaha. Oh, okay. We went with to the, the main. Uh -huh. That's the main place. The, for off, the, off the Air Force Base. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. And my father, uh, my husband was uh, there on in there, and so we lived uh, on base, and it was wonderful. It, and the, many people don't like doing that, but I thought it was fine because it's easier. Uh, we didn't live on, off base at first. I, on base at first, you have to wait to get a uh, time. But uh, we lived there, and I uh, had uh, a son there, a Paul, and uh, Pat was born in California. And then my last uh, son was born back in Omaha because we had two terms in Omaha. Oh, okay. And right. uh, and so we lived in the uh, houses on base. They're uh, like the, the uh, houses in town uh, that are uh, not. Uh, they're, what are those houses uh, called? Cape Art. Yeah, yeah. Cape Heart housing? Cape Heart housing, but I mean the type of house. It's like cut up like that one like still. Oh, duplex or something? No, regular big uh, country-like houses. Uh, and uh, they were up at upstairs and down. Uh, and uh, big, uh, big, we had plenty of room and they were nice and all that. We didn't have any problems. It was all taken care of by the military. And uh, and uh, uh, the we even had schools right close by, and uh, of course my oldest bo uh, boy was uh, we were there long enough that he went to school there. So, and then uh, the second time when we came back, we didn't live on base. They had more uh, more housing had been built all around, and so we lived uh, within walking distance of the base, but we went to the base for everything, like store and uh, groceries, you name it, we went. And, and then my, uh, a Catholic, uh, a, a new Catholic school was built just uh, near where we were living. And uh, so my kids went to, they were always in Catholic school, uh, sometimes on base and sometimes, but they always took them to, uh, there was a bus, to take them to Catholic school if there was nothing on base. So you didn't have to pay attention to you could do your whatever. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, so. Now, uh, during this time, as we, you progressed in your husband's career, the Korean War broke out. Did he get called into that, or did, was, did he stay? Uh, uh, he didn't really. Uh, uh, when did he retire? I, uh, we were in... Um, 72, he retired in, he yeah. retired in 1970. We were back east. We were in uh, the base at, uh, uh, what's the name of that town? Uh, that was town? Pease. What? That was Pease. Pease. Pease Air Force Base. Yeah, that's where you yeah. retired. Yes. Yeah. We were there. That was, we uh, went there and we uh, lived on base because he was uh, up, up, upper top and then we had to be on base. And uh, then uh, he w was going to retire. so. We bought a, uh, I wanted to live there. The f how, uh, schools are tremendous there. And uh, so we bought a house there and we moved in before he retired. And, and Pat went to high school there. And uh, my oldest son was in college and my daughter was going to. So Pat and, and uh, Perry went to school. Perry was a, uh, too young. He didn't go to school, but Pat went to school there. And, uh, Paul did. Yeah. Paul was in high school at that time, too. Yeah. And then when uh, Claude retired, uh, and we were living there, and I, uh, 
uh, he wanted to move to Colorado because his uh, brother had uh, lived in Colorado and he wanted to, uh, they were very close family and they, so we uh, sold our house and moved to uh, uh, where we are now. Yeah. Oh, and he, he, uh, had, he built, he was partially in uh, that type of bu business, uh, so he uh, knew a lot about building. So he had a hard house built there and he uh, had a lot to do with it. And I kind of traveled with my youngest because he was just, uh, but the other kids were all in school, but he wasn't. And uh, uh, they, uh, the, uh, they didn't have uh, any place for us to stay. So he and I traveled and went to all the a family and did all oh. that while they were building our house. Oh, wow. wow. So, did you guys ever have an overseas assignment? No. Oh, it stayed stay no, side the whole time? and I was very sad about that because I would have loved yeah. to gone, but huh. he just never did have, have one. He w was at various things in the military, but not closest, uh, closest was Hawaii. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about the Hawaii yet. Uh, oh. 67, 68, and 69. Well, you know, that wasn't really overseas. Well, no, but just one, yeah, that's one assignment we didn't talk about. You talked about uh, California and Roswell and Oklahoma, or, uh, Omaha and, and New Hampshire, but you didn't talk about Hawaii. I completely forgot. But see yeah. what I mean? Oh, my yeah. memory's gone. Uh, yes, well, we all love Hawaii. Oh, oh, nobody can not love Hawaii. Yeah, we were there three years, and the kids, uh, when uh, it was time, his time was up there, and he was he could have uh, 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 kept uh, uh, retired there. No, he could have kept uh, gone on there oh, oh, oh. if he wanted. To. Oh, I see. But he didn't want to do. Uh -huh. He was a, a home person. Uh -huh. He wanted to be close to <laughs> in home, work. Home was close, That's which was in Illinois. <laughs> so the kids were, uh, didn't win. They didn't. Uh, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> Asked. So we went. That was our second thing, thing at uh, Omaha. Okay. That's where we went from uh, Hawaii. And it was uh, fine. It, it has, as I told you, it was a good s s place yeah. to be. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. We so, uh, went from, from California in 55, 60. We moved from California after I was five years old. We moved up to. Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, Washington, and we're there three years, and then then you went then went down to Omaha for the second tour at Omaha. That was yeah, we and uh, I uh, and I it makes really kind of that's why uh, it's wonderful being uh, <coughs> healthy and everything, but it seems you have to have something when you get older. You yeah. Just and it, mine is my memory. I, mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how many years uh, were you and your husband married? Oh gosh, I don't even remember that. Hmm. And he died, uh, I think, about ten. But he's been gone a while. Twenty thirteen. We were close to fifty. I don't think we made the fifty. Oh, you know, that's a big uh, t time that you, you know, that's everybody thinks they want to have been married 50 years, but uh, we didn't quite make that. Hmm, okay. And uh, so talk a little bit about uh, children, grandchildren. Uh, oh, yes, got, uh, yes. My oldest son uh, had two children, uh, and, uh, uh, a boy and a girl. And the boy is married, and he uh, and his wife uh, have a, a girl and a boy. They uh, had to do the, uh, where you have to uh, mm -hmm. have them start mm -hmm. <laughs> you In Berto? Yeah, wonderful. And then my daughter is next, and uh, she has two, a girl and a boy. And her daughter ha has is married and has... They have two boys, oh. and then her son is not married, 
and uh, then the third one is my uh, the other son Paul and he's married and he has two boys and a girl and he lives in uh, Florida he's a builder and uh, uh, and my uh, eldest sons is a uh, he works for uh, 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 Medtronic, yeah, medical yeah. equipment. Yeah. And he is a whiz, mm. a whiz. And then, uh, uh, as I said, uh, my daughter's son, he uh, has uh, gotten a job with this other type of same kind of uh, company. What's that not a name? Uh, Cook Medical. Cook medical, and he is doing well. He loves it. He, he wanted to be a, 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 a golfer, and he plays golf all the time. And he worked for the on the golf course for some years and wasn't getting anywhere. So he mm. applied and got this job. Mm. And then the next uh, after them, uh, my son who's in Florida, his. Uh, oldest boy is going to be in business. He's graduated from college and he's doing a, uh, he's in a, a college getting another degree of some kind. And then their youngest, their youngest son wanted to go to the academy, but the, when the time that was a couple years ago, two years ago, I think, uh, and uh, that time, they have to have a certain uh, grade scale. Well, the whole number of cadet, uh, of boys going, every single one of them had the top number, and he had the next number. Hmm. And so he didn't get. It. Hmm. So he said, "I'll go do some." Uh, I'll, he's still going to be with airplanes and everything. So he went to. He was in college, and he went, has continued on it all in that field. So he's still there. So that's them. And then Pat's next. And uh, he's uh, 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 in with the, the computers. He's a computer person. And in no marriage, he hasn't found a girl. And so he's a, a bachelor. And my youngest son is also in this field uh, he pl uh, it plays for pays uh, for what uh, Abbott. Abbott. Oh, okay. He's a, Abbott, and he has done tremendous. He is he's way up there. He travels all over the place and mm. uh, mostly uh, China, India. Mm. Uh, he's even been to uh, Russia a couple of times. And, other international relations. Yeah. Abbott Lab. Well, and I, I, the first time he went to Russia, uh, he uh, call, uh, when he got home, he called me and he said, Mom, I had, uh, uh, now I can't think of it, but it's a, a dish I used to make all the time, and, and uh, it's Russian. And he had that, and he said, Yours is better. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, well, that's the, the family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, through uh, after you got married, did you, and then started having uh, children? Did you continue on at all with your nursing, or did you give it up to that point? To, well, you know, the military would not keep you. But I mean, as far as a, yeah. a private nurse. Uh, and I didn't. Okay. No. Yeah. Uh, being in the military, and he, my husband was a colonel, and uh, you have so much. Uh, uh, Things that you have to do, oh, right. parties, sure. things sure. like that, right. and uh, I uh, and he didn't really want. Uh, he would have would have allowed it, of yeah. course. Yeah. But he didn't care one way or the other. So I uh, played golf. Good. Good for you. <laughs> bridge. Oh, bridge. Yes. Yes. This year, and I can't. I really. I gave up bridge because. Uh, uh, you're a, you're no good to your partner when you can't when she sells you something and yeah. you don't know what to say. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah. But uh, a bridge, 
oh yeah, I played bridge all the time. But I also golf because I wanted to be out and exercise. So, so uh, when so when you guys retired, then you moved to the Springs. How did you get to the Springs? Oh, we just uh, uh, that's where my uh, husband's brother was. Oh, okay. And I uh, had been. Uh, he was in the military too, but. Uh, when he uh, he got out much uh, some years before my husband did, and uh, uh, I, they uh, and he married a girl from uh, uh, Australia. Well, well, they were stationed over that mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. uh, when when Claude was there, uh, not at the same place. Right, right. So, but uh, he, uh, Max uh, met this. A girl there, and they married, and came when he got out, and they came uh, uh, back to Greymont, Illinois, and then his uh, uh, the form the he wasn't a former, he, he was a pilot, <laughs> and so he uh, I don't know why they picked uh, to uh, to go where they did instead of staying there in Illinois, but uh, they moved here to the, uh, there, and so my, uh, when my husband retired, he wanted to go to be in the same area with his brother, mm -hmm. so that's why we moved to Colorado, Gotcha. and uh, they lived out, uh, they built their house out farther, in, uh, where, where is that, Pat, closer to the academy. Uh, Black Forest or mo uh, Black Monument? Black Forest area, area yes. Okay. That's where they are. Okay. Were. Yeah. And then uh, uh, when my husband retired, and uh, he and uh, the, he went out just searching for uh, a place to buy so we could build a house for us. Because we had the house in. Uh, back there, and I was going to stay with uh, uh, the two ones, Pat and my youngest one, Perry, uh, and we were going to just be there in, uh, uh, till my, uh, my husband got a house and got thing, bought land and built a, a house, and we planned what kind of house and everything that we wanted. and. Uh, Pat uh, uh, was our, uh, our, he was in high school then at this uh, Catholic school. At, the kids all went to Catholic school. Mm -hmm. And uh, wonderful school, wonderful school. I hated to mm -hmm. have to leave that school from him. And, and uh, my youngest, Pat uh, Perry, was like in pre-kindergarten. That, that's where he was, so he didn't, he wouldn't, he didn't mind where we went, I'm sure. Hmm. <laughs> so uh, we waited uh, until uh, 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 my husband uh, uh, bought some land, and uh, and uh, and we'd all planned our house, so I uh, uh, didn't really, they didn't really need me, and so he and uh, Paul was, and you. Yeah. They, uh, uh, they, uh, Dad, Paul, and I drove out here to, yeah, drove and they, Colorado. yeah, they got a, a place to live right by the, and my husband had a, I bought this, I don't know whether he, no, he'd taken up, uh, got a, uh, service what? station. Yeah, S service station. He loved cars. My oh, okay. Loved cars. Oh, okay. Uh huh. So he went ahead and got that. Huh? And the, so they were working there, living in this apartment of maybe two rooms. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're saying, well, I've got the house and I'm in all that. I said, I'm not coming and staying. <laughs> so Perry and I traveled. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Till yeah. it was all done. Yeah. Summer of 1970. Okay. Through the years, uh, did you uh, keep in touch with any of the people you served with? Was there any sort of reunions, anything like that? Uh, no, no, not really. 
Uh, the only thing is that wherever we were, we always joined the officers club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would uh, always go with the military, the, we, uh, whatever they was doing. And uh, then when we moved here, I went out and uh, joined the ladies group. And uh, you always have one, you know, ladies yeah, right, group. Right. And, uh, and uh, I never uh, really had any, I have, uh, we kept in, uh, we letter wrote uh, to our fr friends, but gradually you, yeah, right. that, that, but I never did ever have uh, one. Uh, well, Franny Clayton, Franny used but to I stay mean, in touch with Franny. On yeah, a, but I mean basis. to live close. No, yeah, I'm just asking, you know, through the years, the, the nurses that you served with in Alaska, if you, had, you guys ever kept in touch. Uh, oh, we did, uh, with letters. Yeah, and then eventually just, uh, his yeah, yeah. life went on. and Right, and yeah. somebody had died, yeah, and, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. This and is this, her graduating class. This one that he's speaking of, uh, she's like me, she's living long and all, but uh, I haven't heard from her in a while, and I'm thinking that mm. she might be gone. But she lived in California. And we're there, we're here, and it's mm -hmm. just, uh, I, she did come through once, I think, and uh, that, but, but I made wonderful friends here, yeah, too, yeah. and uh, I hated to give up bridge. Uh, rich people are, <laughs> yeah, uh, everybody thinks we're terrible, but we're not. We just are anxious to do, <laughs> get what we should. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then I, uh, uh, I kept up golfing too. I golfed through years and uh, and I really did all that stuff until I, it got to the point that it was too much for me to do. Yeah, sure. And, sure. Uh, and now, uh, and I went to, uh, when we moved here, I went to the Y downtown because uh, there was no other one closed. And uh, then they started to, uh, to build the, uh, the Y that's within walking distance. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good. And so I was one of the first people to join, to go there. And I can walk there. It's mm -hmm. like five blocks. Oh, wonderful. That. Yeah. And mm. uh, so, uh, and then uh, I, uh, it got to the point I, I wasn't doing much in golf, so I kind of stopped that. and. I uh, then this I just stopped a uh, bridge this past year because I, as I say I felt just that I was yeah. a hindrance but oh I still hate it. Mm. Uh. Mm. Well, as Eleanor, as we start to wind down this interview, is there anything I didn't ask you that you wanted to talk about? Or any of the stories that have floated to the top as we've been sitting here that you wanted to talk about? I know we only probably got a, a tip of the iceberg, but uh, uh, and Pat, feel free to jump in with anything you heard that she might have left out. So the idea that we round out your story as best we can, or or do you think we pretty much did? Well, yes, and Pat's a big help because he remembers the things that I can't uh, uh, pull out. Yeah, right. I can know what that yeah. is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, that I felt bad about it because, you know, you think you should be able to tell what happened here and then. But, uh, and uh, I've been, as I say, uh, healthy and everybody, all when they see me the, uh, at church, you know, or, or I have lots of people I know, but I don't have any, like, real friends that uh, I, kept up with mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the ones that I, I liked and all they're kind of mad at me not ever calling or anything uh -huh. in fact even the man who does my hair asks because I've gone with, with him ever since we've been here huh. and he uh, th told me one day he said you should go and out while they're playing and uh, when they stop for lunch have lunch and talk to them and I should yeah. but I don't yeah and uh, so, uh, and see, now I've forgotten what I was supposed to be talking about. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pat, can you think of anything that she's left out or uh, that you wanted her to add to the tape? 
Well, I think w uh, when you left Anchorage, um, after the war was over, uh, you came down on the ship with some of your nurse friends, I think, and ended up in Pasadena, California, and then you, oh, you no, did some no. nursing down in Pasadena someplace. No, or someplace I didn't. Uh, I uh, flew back. We, uh, I flew back to St. Louis from uh, Alaska. From Alaska. Yeah, that's how we got back. So you were on a ship at some other time then? No, I wasn't on a ship. Uh, just going up there. I didn't come back on a ship. Oh, you came, you went up on a ship? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought you said you flew flew up there. But, oh, no. Well, that, that always begs the question. Once again, here's this Midwest girl from... St. Louis going to sea. How was that trip? Did you get your sea legs or how was the trip up to Alaska? Because those are pretty rough waters. Oh, yeah. No, uh, we didn't, didn't have a problem. Oh, oh good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, although, unless maybe I've gotten that mixed up, Pat, but I uh, I thought we flew up. Yeah, or, but I did pictures. say we went on the mm. ship. It, that's right. I did tell you the ship that we and that's right. I, uh, but coming home, I, I didn't come home. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. right. They, right. they flew us home. Yeah. Okay. That's where some of these older pictures that we have of okay. you with Franny Cleeton and, and right. some of your other right. uh, yeah. well, that, the nurses that you graduated from. Right, yes. That, and uh, they didn't, uh, Franny didn't go up there, see. She didn't go to, uh, uh, she oh, was one of the ones that didn't. And uh, most of the ones that did are, are gone. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so uh, and see, that's what I mean. I got things kind of. Yeah, that's uh, fine. That's okay. Yeah. And saying, and that's been a help. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, we so spent all about it. a number of years in California, Castle Air Force Base. And oh yeah, California. we were there a long time. Yeah, but there wasn't anybody. Uh, that I uh, uh, can I I know I had lots of good friends sure. because I played golf with them and all yeah. that kind of thing. But I haven't kept in touch with anybody, and maybe most of them are gone because uh, uh, being uh, ninety-five. Right. It's <laughs> yeah. Right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> the grosses were the oh, grosses yeah. were in Atwater. Did you know the grosses before Atwater? Uh, in California. Yeah, California. And, and I, yeah, they they were great. And then they, you kept in touch with them. Uh, well, they the, ended up in Denver. Uh, yes, uh, in Denver. they were in Denver, and we were kept down in touch here. With them in Denver. But uh, they both died. And she died uh, uh, some years before her husband. But uh, their daughter is still. Uh, they had two daughters, and they're. Uh, and two sons. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're still around and all, but mm -hmm. I don't see them. Right, right. They've invited us up. They live in Denver area. And uh, at, like, say, uh, uh, certain holidays, mm -hmm. they'll have Thanksgiving. We used to get together with them mm. for Thanksgiving yeah. every, every but year, not, every other year. But I meant, I was thinking of uh, the young ones oh, that, that they have, yeah. have a party made. I'd ask to actually be in with them. Uh, I haven't uh, uh, for some time now. That, uh, and I don't uh, know anyone else in, in uh, Denver that might be left. My neighbor went up there to live, but then she came back, so mm. she didn't yeah. like it up there, I guess. And, yeah. Well, the last question I always like to ask with these interviews when you look back on that time when you were in the nurse up in Alaska, your service, and, and part of the question's asked uh, already because you met your husband, but did, did that play a role in your life, change your life, affect your life at all? Or do you look at it, you, as you look back on it, do you look at it as just a chapter in your life? How, how would you answer the, that, that period of time? Well, uh, to me, that was probably one of the most important things that ever happened to me. And it was something that I was totally with. Mm -hmm. I didn't really hardly object to anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, 
and I would do it over again. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. and, uh, and mostly about m my life, I've been mostly happy all the time and uh -huh. healthy. Uh -huh. And, uh, and I have a, a good children and all that. And I had not really, uh, made any, uh, uh ideas of that I had to do this or had to do that. I just uh, knew I wanted to be a nurse uh -huh. and I wanted to be a nurse, a children's nurse. Uh -huh. And uh, I did get to do that and uh, and and to be healthy and, uh, and to have someone to love and have children. Uh -huh. it, and my life kind of went along in a pattern. <laughs> wow. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, Eleanor, I want to thank you for sitting down today to tell uh, your wonderful story, but uh, just as important, I want to thank you for your service to our country. Oh, well, thank you. I think this uh, is a high school graduation picture of me, which I, I'm happy with this one. I really like it. Hmm. So, thank Was that you. Beaumont High School? Beaumont. This is my nursing school uh, picture uh, graduation. And uh, we were really happy. <laughs> this is the pic a picture of my uh, uh, class in... Uh, uh, Jewish hospital. We were learning to be nurses and uh, take care of all the people and uh, um, we all uh, were from around St. Louis and uh, some of them uh, were my greatest friends and Francis Cleeton was one and uh, yeah, oh God. And uh, the other one was this little one who, the little uh, uh, Jewish girl who was my very best friend. And we did everything together. And uh, Well, the most important picture in there is you. Where are you in the picture? Uh, in the... <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I'm up. Uh, you right, uh... right there. I'm right above, right there, right in the middle. Okay. Well, and so... Anyway, we all had a uh, loved each other and had a great time. Mm. Anything else? This is my army uh, um, uh, picture, uh, so you can see how happy I was. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Well, here I am, an army nurse and all my boys. <laughs>